Let's say that you would like to keep track of a user's favorite food, or even just a favorite food for your application. Let's assume that it has some ingredients, and those ingredients are a mutable list of you know, string. And let's also assume that the there is a name of a favorite food here. I'll actually make this one uh, mutable as well. And this one's gonna be a string, and we can go ahead and default this to unknown because maybe you wanna change it later. Now, with a singleton in software development, we only want one instance of this to be created any, at any time. So if I have one favorite food, I can't have multiple. I mean, I could have multiple favorite foods, but let's say my most favorite food in the whole world is X, Y, and Z. I only want one instance of this to be created. But however, if I were to set this up once, I say favorite food, I can create one instance of it here. I can create another instance here. And how would we do that? Now in other link, so as you can see, I have multiple of these instances. I and mean, I only wanna be able to restrict the user from creating what, basically one instance of this. So how would I go about doing that? Well, in other languages, what you would do is you would mark the constructor private and say private constructor. And now, of course, we're not gonna have the ability to create this, but now what we need is some type of helper method to create this. So maybe we have a, a companion object and this companion object has uh, a new method called instance. And this instance just basically creates a favorite food for us. So it's basically a private method it creates a favorite food for us but now even then we're going to keep getting new instances here so even if we did this so let's undo those things we can say favorite food at instance we're still going to get multiple different instances of this food so what we'd have to do is inside of this we have to kind of lock this down we'll say all right it's going to return a favorite food and then inside of here we're going to have to possibly meet need a let's say val instance equals favorite food. And we start getting a lot into a lot of code here to kind of start managing this. You can kind of start to see that we're gonna, we're gonna start getting out of control. We need to, you know, start handling, you know, create the new instance here, uh, et cetera. Now, thankfully in Kotlin, this is a lot easier. We don't even need to do all this. This is already handled for us. And to create a singleton in Kotlin, it's actually really easy. So I'm gonna delete this private constructor. All we have to do is change this from class the object. Now at this time, we only have one instance of favorite food at any time. So now if I go favorite food, oops, excuse me, favorite food dot name, excuse me, I can say print line of this favorite food dot name, and we're going to see unknown. So if we run this, we'll see unknown. And of course, this will say unknown. Now if I were to change this, let's say favorite food dot name equals, you know, maybe you love, I know I do, I love watermelon. So I'd say watermelon. And in order to run it again, we'd see still unknown because we didn't print it here. So let's print it again. After I print it now, it'll say watermelon. So I've just only have one instance of this at all. So now even if I were to create a function, so I'll say fun, and let's just call it do stuff. And then do stuff is going to do something. And so I'm gonna say, hey, favorite food dot name is, maybe it's chicken now. Now, if I come back up here, I'm just gonna say call do stuff, oops. Say do stuff. Actually, we need to define it before I call it. So I'm actually gonna take this and move this outside of our method here. So there we go, Let's say do stuff. It's gonna call do stuff and then I'm gonna say print line. I want you to print my favorite food.name again. So what we should see here is we should see unknown, then we should print watermelon. And then by the time we get here, it should say chicken. So even though we're calling, inside of the do stuff method, we're calling favorite food inside of a different scope. Right now we're in a main function scope, but here we're in the do stuff method scope. What we're gonna see here is that this is treated as a singleton because there's only one instance of it lying around. So once we run it, we should see unknown watermelon and chicken as we do here. So the same thing can go inside of here. Uh, for example, if we wanted to, you know, let's do this right here. So favorite food dot ingredients dot add. Let's, let's just say salt, everyone loves salt. And then I could actually print here. So print line. 
how many ingredients are in here. Or just print the first one. So favorite food dot ingredients dot first. It'll print the first one here. And then maybe instead of do so, let's actually run that to see what that looks like. So we'll see that the salt is the first ingredient that's printed there. And now inside of do stuff, again, just to demonstrate this, let's just go ahead and say favorite food dot ingredients dot clear. So we're gonna clear out that list. And now I wanna print this. So kind of put that so it's a little more obvious. And there we go. Kind of print, break them apart. And if we run this again, what we'll see here now is that the ingredients have been cleared and we'll see that this list is empty. So now we get an exception here on main line 14 because I'm calling first. So what I could do here is something different, like first or null, and that would actually give me a null value. Should, should print null there, which it does. So we can say print null. And so we're not getting, there's nothing in that list at this point in time. So um, this is one way that you can create a singleton inside of Kotlin very easily. So you're just gonna replace the class keyword with object. And then of course you can have, you can also put methods inside of here as well. So you can say fun, uh, you can say number of ingredients. And this can be a very simple method that just kind of just returns the ingredients dot size. And of course we could just call that from up here as well. So print line, we could say favorite food dot number of ingredients. And if we run that, we should see zero at the end. Oops, it's asking us for a return type that I did not specify. So I'm gonna say int. So if I run this here, this way zero. If we come back up top here, where I added an ingredient, we should see one right after we see salt, so we'll see one, then chicken, of course it was cleared out inside of the do stuff method, the ingredients were. And then of course, we printed the number of ingredients too. So we have a singleton, we can have properties, we can have various different uh, items in here, we can have functions, but this is now treated as a singleton, I cannot create multiple instances of it. And if I were to print off, if I have two, print ln, favorite food, equal equals favorite food, what do we think would happen here? Hey, are these two instant, is this equal to itself? Is this the same instance? Let's take a look here and we'll see down here we have a true. So these are actually the same exact objects that are stored in memory. And that's how you can create a singleton in Kotlin.